Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, we're going to make the sweetest little box and we're also going to incorporate this fun tool that I shared with you yesterday. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. We are fast approaching the holiday gift giving season and we're going to want to be able to make some gifts that are inexpensive to make but don't look inexpensive. That's what we have here. We have this beautiful three by three by three box and it's just a little goodie box, but you can put whatever you want in yours. And in doing this project, it's also going to give us a chance to work again with the mitering feature of this five in one tool. So I'm going to flip to my overhead camera, give you a closer look at the project, and then we're going to make it. All right, y'all, so here's a closer look at today's project. It is this beautiful box that when finished, measures three by three, by three. We have a nice platform base and matching lid and I've just added some embellishments to the top and a little box like this is really useful for so many things. You can put teas in it, you can put a candle in it, you can put candies in it. It makes a great secret Santa gift or it makes a great little I'm thinking of you gift. Any season, any reason, any one, just swap out those papers. So I'm going to take the lid off so that you can see what I have in mind. I simply have some of those Lindor chocolates in mind you can add some shredded paper, but like I said, so many things that you can put in this. And what I like about this box is I like that the lid is designed to cover the entire box. And that's why we have the little platform on the top as well as the bottom. Super easy to make. We're going to miter our corners using that five in one tool. Y'all, here's what we're going to need to make it. Very easy, minimal supplies. I'm going to be using some scrap chipboard. I have two pieces that measure three and a half by three and a half. I have two pieces to cover that chipboard that measure six by six. I have a box bottom that measures 10 by 10 and a box top that measures 10 and one eighth by 10 and one eighth. Y'all, that's it. All right, y'all, so here's how we're going to make the box bottom as well as the box top. The measurements will be the same. So on all four sides, we're going to score at one and three and a half. 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 We'll take the lid and go ahead and score it as well at one and three and a half. One and three and a half on all four sides. And then we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish all the score lines on both pieces. All right, so once you have all of your scores folded and burnished, we're going to do the exact same thing on the top and the bottom. So we're going to go up to that second score mark and cut straight down then we angle, then we move into this score mark, angle in, then we're going to angle at the score mark there to remove these two pieces, and then we reduce this piece. We do this on both pieces. So we go to the second score mark and drag straight down, then we angle in, then we go to the score mark and angle in here. We angle here and here. Same thing on this side. So I'll do this one with you guys and I'll do the other, other part off camera. So we go to that second score mark and we drag straight down and then we angle in. Then we angle here and here and then we reduce here. So we're removing three pieces. And let's do the same thing here. So let's go up to the second score mark, drag straight down, angle to remove this piece, 
and then we go to the second score mark and angle in angle to remove this piece and then reduce I'm going to go ahead and do this on the other piece and I'll be right back all right y'all so we're going to go ahead and put the box base together the box base is the piece that measures 10 by 10 very easy you can do this part with glue or tape I'm just going to use my glue because it is what is handy so I have added my glue and I'm just gonna smush it around and I want to make sure I have nice even tight and crisp corners same thing here let's keep that nice tight and crisp I'm going to go in get that stuck let's go ahead and fold that back we'll take our glue place our glue here and now I can take this piece and just smush it around in the glue then get it nice tight and crisp in those corners same thing here just make sure I have it nice tight and crisp corners and when I do I'll just lay it down make sure I get that glue nice and stuck and now we can fold this back and add our glue or tape totally up to you but guys here's a reminder if you have not ordered that reptile adhesive and you use reptile you might want to go ahead and place your order because as we go into the colder months they do not ship when the temperature is below 40 degrees so you don't want to get caught trying to craft and out of glue out of reptile that is which is what I use Fold that over. So there is my box base. I am going to take the lid and I'm going to bring in my oval hole punch because I want to punch in some little finger tabs so you'll know that you can open this from this end. Like that. And then I'll do it on the opposite side. I'm only doing it on two panels, the two panels that are opposite each other. So let's go ahead and take that one. And now you can see how I did that. We're going to go ahead and put this box together. Let's go in and get that stuck. Same thing over here place my glue smush it around just a little bit to spread the glue getting those corners nice tight and crisp you'll hear me say that a lot but that is important to your box so I'm going to fold in place my glue place my glue and now I'll get this one matched at the corner and nice tight and crisp same thing over here matched at the corner wipe some of the glue from my hands nice tight and crisp corner let's fold that back so that we can get in there and get that stuck now we're going to take our glue put some glue here Fold these in and get them stuck. Do this one as well. And then the other two. So let's go ahead and add our glue. Go ahead and add that glue there. Fold over and get it stuck then I'll just go around to make sure that I have everything nice and stuck and guys if you find that your reptile adhesive appears to be a little bit watery all I do is shake mine and that normally brings it back to 
the nice stickiness that I need. So now we have our lid. You can see those finger grabs. We're going to take that lid and we're going to put it on just like this. And you can see that we have a lid that covers the box. So I'm going to remove the tape backers from my two pieces of three and a half by three and a half inch chipboard. And we're going to take it and I'll place it right there in the middle. And we'll take this one and I'll place it right there in the middle. Bring in my big old spatula to get that nice and stuck. So now I'm going to bring in the five in one tool that we talked about in a previous video. This is going to help me miter. So if you have any concerns about how your mitering is going, all you do is use this tool. And it's not just for mitering. We're also able to use it for placement and spacing. So I'll have that video linked in the description box below if you want to go back and look at what I was able to do with this tool. So basically all you do is you take it and you position it in each corner and then you go along the back and remove the triangle. Now how easy peasy is this. So if you struggle with mitering, this is a great way of helping you to make sure that your corners have a good miter and you have enough to fold over. So I'm going to take this and go around and around. And I'll keep using this tool until I think you guys are really comfortable with it. And then I'll probably just go back to my old way of doing it because it's just easier for me. This is an easy tool to work, but I'm actually a lot faster in crafting just doing it the old fashioned way. So I'm going to take this, stand it up, and we're going to fold over our corners like this. This time I'm going to use my tape and I am going to add tape to all four sides of this. And I'm using my tape runner because I will be gluing down this piece to the box so I can use my tape runner because everything will be sandwiched in. So let's go ahead and get our tape. And now we can fold over, fold over. I'm going to get this stuck. Then I'm going to take the pointy end here and just press down in my corners to make sure I have all of my paper laying flat so that I can fold over. So there's one, and now I'll do the same thing here and here. Let's get that nice and stuck. Go ahead and go in those corners and press down. And now I can stand up and fold over. And get this nice and stuck. Then I'm just going to take it and go around the ends just to make sure that I don't have any unwanted pointy sticking out. So wasn't that an easy way of mitering the corners? The tool is useful for so many different things, but now we're going to go ahead and just place down our lid and the base. So I'm going to open this, attach some glue to the bottom, And we're going to place this down, trying to make sure that we have it centered on all four sides. And basically by centered, I mean the platform 
is even on all four sides. So we are going to just go ahead and go in with that bone folder to get that stuck. Then I'll take my lid and put it on and add my glue. And I'm going to put the lid on like this. And then to make sure that I have my placement right, I'm just going to take it and tap it around like this. And when I do that, y'all, it usually gives me pretty good placement. So I am going to go in and let's get that stuck. And so there, y'all, we have our second box. I am just going to place some candies on the inside. And you can also place some shredded paper. But let's go ahead and put that lid on. And you can see what a beautiful little box we have here. So all I'm going to do at this point is just add a little bit of decoration. So all I'm going to do is add just a little bit of greenery to the top as well as a bow. And y'all, we are going to call this done. So I think I'm going to go with it like that. So let's go ahead and just peel the back from a portion of the sticker. I don't think I'm going to take the back off of all of it because some will be overhanging. So I'm going to put that right there. And this piece, I will peel the whole back. We're going to take this piece and place it right there. Then I'm going to take this bow, add some tape, and now we can take the bow and just place it right there in the middle. I'm going to pop it up just a little bit. And so y'all, I have brought the first one back in so that you can see these little cuties. They are adorable. And I have candy in mine, but like I said, you have a nice size box in which you can put so much. So I hope that you have enjoyed this super awesome way to make this box with a lid and a base and using the five in one tool to help us with our mitering. If you have enjoyed this video, and I certainly hope you have, please hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, come on. I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family where we not only craft, but we learn. As always, my friends, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.